<clears throat> How's it going, everybody? I was uh, tagged by Snestastic on a, uh, it's what's your uh, favorite system, game, and controller for uh, this uh, generation of consoles. <clears throat> and I'm glad he tagged me on this one because it gets to, uh, gives me a chance to show my uh, love for the PlayStation 3. Because uh, that's the uh, answer to my first question. My favorite system is the PlayStation 3. I had the 360 for a little over a year, enjoyed it. I had the Wii for only like two months. I really like Sonic and the Secret Rings on for uh, <coughs> the Wii, but I didn't get a chance to play much games for that. But on the PlayStation 3 for me, I've got it back in July of 07. I just love it. It's it's quickly becoming my favorite system ever. I know that's a little crazy to say, but uh, you know it's got the Blu-ray player in it. Like he said, it's got the cross-media bar that's very simple and that's you know it's easy to use, which is nice. Their internet isn't as good as, uh, you know, their online service isn't as good as Xbox 360, but that's because it is free, like he said. I did read they were charging for it, though, or they were going to charge for it at some point. If they do that, they better spice it up, because, you know, it's, it, it's kind of bare bones now. <clears throat> it's still pretty good, though, but like I said, they charge it, they need to spice it up big time. But I just, I just love the system, you know, I have the 60 gig one, so it's got all the, uh, you know, memory card slots in it and stuff, the four USBs, which is cool. <clears throat> I mean, th this generation of consoles I love anyway, you know, like 360 as well, mainly 360 and the PS3, because the Wii's you know, a different beast altogether. And those two, I just love the games, you know, what they can do now in terms of presentation and stuff, and, you know, the gameplay is great in all these games now too, it's just, it's like playing a movie. <clears throat> Definitely PlayStation 3 I gotta go with, though, I, re I, re I really love that system, it, it's, it's great, man, I, I play it all the time. I have fun with it, I, you know, this is, anybody who knows me, like my friends who know me now, you guys are going to know as well, <clears throat> is that, like, last generation of consoles, with the GameCube, the Xbox, and the PS2, I went through, like, eight GameCubes, like, five PS2s, I kept selling these things, like, he was saying, like, he, he said in his uh, thing, you know, you, uh, you know, you, like, I, I went through these systems because I would get bored quickly, <clears throat> I was pissed off when the Cube first came out, but, because their games kept getting pushed back and shit, but, you know, I, I loved the game, the original Xbox lasted a little while, longer than the other ones, but, with this system here, I saw the games too, with the PS3, I got like 37 games, I think, or 38 games, I, I've, I've only sold 8 in 2 years, and for me, is incredible, the way I sold games last generation, and I really want to have like a 100 game collection for the PlayStation 3, I, I, I just want the games for it, I love the games for it, I do not want to get rid of them, and uh, definitely PlayStation 3 is my favorite system this generation. <clears throat> uh, game, game's very tough. You know, the 360 it was Dead Rising, which I loved, even though the save system sucked. It was just so, so good, so fun. The, the original Gears of War was great. I, I never played Halo 3. I played some of Gears of War 2, like 20 minutes. But uh, definitely a lot of good games in there. Earth Defense Force 2017 was uh, really fun as hell, too. But uh, I could say The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion because I love that game. And that's an easy answer for me. I could say Stone Man Ignition. <laughs> There's so many games, Dead Space. But uh, the one I'm going to choose is uh, Valkyria Chronicles. <clears throat> I remember hearing about this game back like six months before it came out at E3. A lot of, you know, a lot of websites were you know, saying it was going to be good, it was fun. It's getting good press early on. And it, it actually is really, <laughs> really good actually it's amazing this game it's a strategy game except you're not on a grid like in like you know other games like gladius since the gladius is another fucking great strategy game. or like that or stuff like that uh, you uh, have like a meter like a gas meter or something at the bottom and you could run around and do whatever you want you can well you can run wherever you want as, until that thing goes down so you know you can run in a circle for fucking 20 seconds if you wanted to, but that's what's cool is that it gives you a little bit more freedom with that. It looks incredible. It looks like a painting. You're playing on like a canvas. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. Good story in there. The characters, like like every other strategy game, if a guy dies, he's gone for the rest of the game. And uh, it, it makes me, like, I was really protecting the characters that brought into battle. Like, I would have my set of, this is like 50 people you can choose, choose from, maybe even more. And, uh, I would like bring the ones I liked into battle, which is another good thing about this game is that the groups there was uh, scouts, engineers, shock troopers, lancers, and snipers. 
and if you only, you know, like in other games, you beef up like four guys, and the rest of the guys suck. This one, they, they all level up as a group. So the ones you're not using are leveling up as you're leveling up the ones you do use, which is really cool if you want to bring other guys into battle with different, uh, different missions. Really cool as well. I mean, like I said, the story is good. Voice acting is pretty solid all around. It looks great. It's fun as hell to play. It's long. I put about 40 out. I put about 35 in the first time, and then I came back and started playing it again. There's like, oh, you can unlock like skirmishes and stuff, and uh, where you just go to like, maps you played and you can just play them again. You know, and there's other like side missions and stuff like that. You know, you gotta like, you can level up your tank, you have a tank in there, you end up with a second tank too. But it's definitely a really, really amazing game. I'd pick this up if you're into any kind of strategy game or just, you know, I'm not into, not into strategy games, but this one's great. I love it. It's a great game, man. Pick this up. I think it's 20 bucks at GameStop right now. I don't know the prices anywhere else for it, but... Definitely a good game, and it actually sold kind of well. It might have went over 500,000 sold, which is good for a game like this. But uh, definitely check this out. This is my favorite game so far. That could change, of course. <laughs> There's still time left on this generation of consoles, but uh, that's that. And the uh, third one is uh, was controller. I don't have my six-axis controller died, so I have this uh, generic thing here. This is actually a pretty good controller. But uh, I just wanted to show because they have the, you know, the, the uh, thumbsticks are in the same spot, obviously. Is that, this is why the PlayStation controller is my favorite, because of where these are positioned. It just for me, it works better. You know, I like the, the Xbox 360 controller is cool, too. And the Wii, the Wii Remote is pretty cool as well. That's completely, you know, completely in a different league, though. <clears throat> this is, you know, I, this is the reason I like this one the best, or the place, you know, the, the DualShock or the 6 x is because they have the thumbsticks right here. For me, it works better. This controller has got, you know, these are different in different spots on this uh, third party controller. But, uh, you know, 360 one's good too. It's hard for me. Like, I, I don't really, I could use any controller. I, I don't hate any controller. I just adjust to whatever controller I'm using. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I, I guess I'll say the PlayStation 3 because I have used it the most. And, uh,. Before, even before it died, I used it the most, and this one I enjoyed. It's pretty good too, except it doesn't play the PlayStation 2 games on the system, which sucks. Because it doesn't, it has a little home, it doesn't have a PlayStation button, which you have to push to play PS2 games. <clears throat> but I definitely go uh, PlayStation 3 controller. But I mean, they're all around the same for me. The PlayStation 3 and the Xbox, I can use them both and not have a problem with really either of them. But I prefer the PlayStation 3 one a little bit more. But, uh, Definitely glad I was tagged on this one. Uh, it's fantastic to have me. Thanks to uh, him. Uh, check him out. If you haven't, you probably know who he is. He's got a lot of good stuff up there. I'll put his uh, link in the uh, description box. But uh, definitely check out his channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'll, I'll do what I've done the last two tags. I'll throw uh, some names in the description box. I just got to look over my uh, subscribers and you know see who I want to tag. But uh, those are the answers and definitely cool. But uh, thanks everybody for checking it out and have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.